YouTube, what's up you guys? Man, how you guys doing out there, man? It's been quite a while since I've been, uh, you know, here with you guys doing a video. I uh, hope everyone's staying safe, doing good out there right now, man. Things are getting bad out there in this uh, world. Yeah, just uh, hope everyone stays safe out there, man. Take care of you guys, of yourself and your families and stuff, so yeah so with that back with another video here on the ford edge here titanium and if uh you can tell from the um front side here can you guys guess what's missing and that's precisely what this video is about and before we get going let me just show you here with uh, what's going on with the moon or with the not the moon but the sun I'm not sure if you guys can see that nice red sun over there out in California here we got the Dixie fire going on and look at that sun man it is just red man holy crap it's red because of the uh, you know the smoke and stuff out here in the sky and uh, covering up the sun super red right now anyway back to the video so yeah, what the heck happened? Well, looks like, uh, you know, the screws that I had underneath for the um, lip spoiler probably weren't sufficient, obviously. Um, and so we took a ride out to, we went to um, Universal Studios down in LA area. And sure enough on the freeway, probably, uh, you know, with the, uh, the speed and everything, the air getting trapped up in here. And this sucker just broke off, as you can see. Look at that. I haven't taken off this last piece here. And, uh, but yeah, take a look, man. It just broke right off of there. And it took the entire plate off. You can see here on this side as well. The entire plate, you know, just kind of broke off, man. So, Man, what I'm going to do this time around is obviously try to do a better job. So, but what I was thinking is, so underneath here, as you can see, um, try to get you under here, hold on a second. So, as you, you can see here, we got this under panel here, right? Um, and so, you know, you can take this guy off to access underneath your motor and stuff, right? If you want to, you know, um, do anything underneath, right? And so what I'm going to do this time around, um, very similar to what I did with the Fusion, is underneath, right, you take off this guy here, and then in this uh, section here, this front um, under panel, uh, once you take that off, you can access this guy from the inside, right? And so I'll take the screws to go through from, from the inside down, and then um, uh, secure it with a nut. So I'm not gonna use those, you know, the little screws that they provide in the, um, um, in the package, right? So I think, you know, with the screws, and that's the same thing that I have with the Fusion, and, you know, to date, I have had zero issues with it. So I think that's the only thing that's missing, is just to make, have the screw go through from, from the inside down, and then um, secure it. So. Um, I'm gonna, you know, when I order it, I'll, you know, it'll come with the bumpers, the rubber um, standoff. So I'll put them on the edges here um, on the front panel. So um, those screws will go down, um, like I said, through the panel into the lip spoiler. Yeah, so once, you know, with those screws, you know, bolted down, bolting down the um, lip spoiler, that's, that will be, you know, sufficient for the front. Um, and so then, you know, what I'll do is uh, for, for the sides here, one second here, for the side um, here, uh, for those screws, what I'm thinking is uh, I can probably go behind this, um, the, the tire panel here, the, the in wall panel, maybe just open that up and then that way I can do the same thing with, with the side bumper here, with the sides, right? Go through the screw from the inside down through and then bolt it down, right? So I can bolt down the sides and that will that will just you know pretty much bolt it down all the way through right and so that way 
that sucker won't fall off. Yeah, I don't know what happened, man. I didn't even feel it, to be honest. Um, cruising down Highway 5, and then uh, I, I, I think I may recall, because, you know, when you're on the freeway, you're going over bumps and stuff, and, you know, your car shakes. You don't think anything of it, right? And so most likely it was during one of those times, uh, and the sucker just kind of, boom, came, came right off, man. When we arrived down, down in uh, Universal Studios, you know, I saw the front and I was like, what the heck? Where'd it go, man? I was like, man, nobody can steal it on Highway 5 while we're driving. <laughs> so that sucker just flew right off, man. So yeah, those little screws were not enough to secure it, to hold it down in place. So that's exactly what happened, you guys. So yeah, it was a disaster install, man. So. Just like the title of this video says, it was a disaster install, um, you know, with the, with those little with those little screws. So we'll try it again, man. And uh, you know, once I get it on order and uh, you know start to do it, uh, you know, I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll do a video how I'm doing it. So yeah, in case if you saw my previous video and you're wondering to, how to do it, don't do it like the way I did it on that video. So yeah, try to you know do what I uh, just su suggested here. Take off the under panel, bring it down, and try to bring some screws through from from the top down and bolt them down. Right? Don't don't put screws. You got to use you know um, uh, bolt-on screws, right? With a nut. You know uh, they have those nuts with the lock washer inside in the nut, so that way it doesn't you know screw off, right? Um, so use those type of nuts, uh, you know, bolts with the nut wash, uh, lock washer, lock bolt, right? Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys just kind of wanted to show you what happened. And, uh, you know, it sucks it happened, but it is what it is. So, um, you know, we'll try to get this guy fixed up. I got to get it back on order. Um, you know, probably take a, at least a week or so to, you know, have it shipped back out here and, so, but yeah, I really liked how it looked. It looked awesome. Pretty, it looked, it looked really good, man. It looked awesome. So, yep, that's what I'm gonna do, you guys. So with that, that's pretty much it, man. Just kind of give you one, give you an update, um, this guy, and so we'll see how it goes next time, man. So with that, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Right on, man. You guys stay safe out there, man. All right. And we'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.